Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird, and I'm here to do a pretty hefty unboxing here, but it is all in the nightmarish vein, so I thought I would uh, share it with you guys because it's a couple things that I don't normally get. As you can see, I have very select tastes, uh, and a couple of these things are not normally what I delve into, but they're kind of necessary for reasons, and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it without saying anything more. So the first one I'm going to do is this bad boy right here. Um, this one, I don't think I need, you know what? I'm going to switch that up because I think, well, let me just use this for the purpose it needs to be then before I get into this. Here we go. So there we go. <laughs> As you can see, no one's tampered with this. This is not a magic trick. I am actually using my glove to open the box and I'm going to do that every single time because that worked so much better than the normal knife situation. All right, so before I actually get it open, let me take this out cuz then I'll end up damaging whatever it is. Oh wait, hang on. Is there another one I can cut? Is there another one? I don't think that one's got tape. This one does. Oh, so sad so satisfying they always say cut away from you but that would be kind of hard <laughs> legit I, i'm using this every time from now on. <laughs> everyone my new letter opener <laughs> okay so now that that's off let me go ahead and dive into this so i've got some peanuts and whatnot but let me go ahead and see if i can get it out because I know there's a bit of a back to it. There we go. Oh, lost the nut. I lost the nut, everyone. All right, so there it goes. No nope, orange chili. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Oh, this is so neat. So this is, I think, the first official figure that I have ever purchased. Um, like actual, what could be considered a figure figure. So this is Wes Craven's New Nightmare Freddy. And the reason I wanted to get this is because I've always thought that this look is fantastic. This trench coat Freddy look, I absolutely adore. So I, I, I think this is totally badass. I don't know if I want to actually open it or not. Oh, it's, he comes with the script. That is so cool. Dude, I gotta open it up and see what's inside. Who am I kidding? Come on. All right, so, oh, you know what? That's okay. I, <laughs> this is the nerd in me. You're seeing the conf conflict on camera. Do I open this or do I leave it in package? <laughs> I'm not planning to save it for, this is an easy answer for me. I'm not planning to save it to sell it later. I'm planning to display it, so. <laughs> all right there we go <laughs> all right so it's open i've committed i've committed y'all busting this thing open oh it smells good in here old school toy plastic oh man i haven't smelled that in years and years and years that's awesome smelling oh man that that mass produced plastic smell that's gonna burn great in the environment eventually all right so let me put the knife down while i open her up okay so i was thinking i would just cut to the thing being done but i'm going to show you the pieces as i get to them because this it does have a stand this thing is meant to be displayed so i'm gonna damn well display it so the stand is pretty cool look at that it's it's in his sort of underworld theme damaged sort of underworld so that's going to be a cool stand to be the base so continuing the nice thing is once this is all done and recorded, I've got a uh, nice photo box on the way, so I'll be able to actually show this off properly before I air this episode. So you guys will see all of that in this episode. Be excited! Okay, here we go. Pulling out all the core wires that holds things in. See, so the next piece is this right here. So this is the pillar that goes on the back of the toy. Again, this is in the underworld. I really like this. 
So I'm gonna put that on there. Hang on, Freddy, just a second, buddy. Oop, oop, uh, oop, uh, oop, oop, okay. Let me just, oh, let me take that out. That's the script, script. So let me put this on here. Where is the hole? <laughs> Found it. Okay, so there you go. That's the base. That's the base with the pillar on it. So that's pretty cool. And then it came with this script. Again, if you know, Wes Craven's New Nightmare was all about the script. And so it comes with a little tiny script. Oh, that's really cool. I wish I had really great vision because then I could see if it was actually the correct writing. But so I can leave the script on the stand like that beside Freddy. I think that's kind of the intention. And then let me get out Freddy himself and show him to you guys. Well, first I'm going to remove the accessories. So here's the man's fedora. So in New Nightmare, it looks like they went with a black fedora. Yes. So they went with a black fedora in New Nightmare. I've always liked the New Nightmare look so much. So the black fedora was always a part of that. But here we go. Oh, I missed one tie. There's one tie missing. Ooh, it's a massive one. <clears throat> Got it. All right. And then pull this guy out. There we go. All right, so here we go. Okay, so here's the man himself, Freddy Krueger. So, yeah, I've always loved this new nightmare look. Let me get his hat on him. Yeah. There we go, that's about right. So it's actually, the hat's a little bit green here. He's not superposable, is he? I guess he's not meant to be. Oh no, there goes his hat. So he can kind of move. He can fan his arm out like that, which is nice. So you can change the position that much from down to menacing. But I love that claw still, see? It's a different nightmare claw because it's got that fifth, it's got that fifth blade on the thumb. Plus you can see <laughs> it's got the bone accentuations on the back and the red glove overall. I always really liked that design. I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm, I'm kind of digging it. <clears throat> and you can move this hand like that. I don't know, maybe he's supposed to be able to hold this. Does he hold this script? Oh look, he can. Interesting. So Freddy can hold the new nightmare script. That's neat, I didn't know that. You have to have it at a certain angle, but Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> so let me see. Oh, this thing also came with a separate head. Oh, what's the difference here? Oh, just a different expression. Okay, cool. Let me show you. I'll show you the expressions side by side. I'll get higher quality pictures again to show you guys at the end of this. But So that's both expressions. You get kind of a a grimace in one and a grin in the other. So that's kind of neat. I like that. <clears throat> so you'd have to keep that with the figure. So let me see if I could find a good place for it over here. Yeah, I don't think the script's gonna stay, so I'm just gonna lean the script up against the pillar. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So that is the Cult Classics Series 2 Wes Craven New Nightmare Freddy. I didn't realize the interior of his coat were the colors of his sweater. That's dope. I never knew that. I don't know if I ever realized that from the movie itself. That's really cool to see. Wow, no, I had no idea about that. That is such a cool little added detail that I didn't know about. But look at the script leaning up against the pillar. That looks good. Freddy right there welcoming you to his world. I dig this. I think this is really cool. So I'm glad I got this. That's a really cool representation of a Freddy that I absolutely adore. So the next one 
is of another Freddy. So I started to open it and then I looked at what it was and I was like, oh wait, I gotta do an unboxing. So it is open, but I haven't actually pulled it out yet. So um, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna open it the rest of the way. See, I've still got it all packed up in there. Didn't wanna pull it out outside of being on camera. So here we go. Okay, okay, I'm trying to decide. Okay, I can put that down. And I can put that down. Oh, this is neat. Nice. It's the uh, dialogue from the movie. Okay. I got it. Sweet. But this is the San Diego Comic Con International exclusive Super Freddy figure from Nightmare 5. So if you guys remember in Nightmare on Elm Street 5, he, uh, the comic book loving kid gets sucked into a comic book and ends up fighting Super Freddy who's faster than a bastard maniac, more powerful than a local madman, and uh, he's all in black and white, and he's got that really awesome, you know, jagged lightning bolt across his chest, kind of like the Flash. So that is <clears throat> the, uh, the next figure that I got here. I'm not sure if he stands up on his own, so I should check that, but I'm gonna not take the time to open a whole nother one on camera here, but um, it looks like the accessories are just the hat on this one, so that's fine. But his glove, well, I want to show you guys everything, though. All right, let me just open it. I'll get a stand if it doesn't work. <laughs> Is that all I needed to go? Oh, that might have been all I needed to get it started. Yep. And the rest of it pops open like that. Interesting. Okay. That's better packaging than a lot of toys. Faster than a bastard maniac. More powerful than a local madman. It's Super Freddy! So this was obviously not played by Robert Englund in the movie. I can't remember the actor's name that played him, but um, he had to be a good deal bigger than Freddy, or than Robert Englund, so... T'was not him. So how am I supposed to get his arm out without messing up the glove situation here? That's what I'm wondering. Let me get the hat out first. These ever-loving hats like to run from me. Put that down there. All right, so one arm is through. Now this one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut through. So I don't have to try and squeeze the glove somewhere it shouldn't. There we go. Ah! Don't hinder me, zip tie. There we go. Oh, see again, you can move his arm. See, this one's way more poseable. And then we put his hat on. So here we go. Super Freddy. That's a pretty cool... Again, I'll take a better picture with the photo set up, but that's a, that's a pretty cool figure. I, I do love that it's all in black and white. I think that's such a neat thing. I really adore it, and the glove looks really cool. Just a kind of a standard glove painted, you know, it's probably just the part five glove painted gray tones, but I, I love it. I think this is such a cool Freddy figure. So let me put him over here, see if he stands next to new Nightmare Freddy. Oh, he stands very easily. Look at that. Hell yeah. They look great together. Cool. All right. So <clears throat> that is... The last figure that I have. Now, the next thing that I have, I also got because I've wanted one for a while. And it's never going to fit me. But it is going to be cool to have displayed. So, I'm going to open this up for you guys to see. Aha! Oh man, this feels solid, dude. Look at this. Oh! So this is a Freddy hand. Look at that. For a costume. Oh man, that is so well made and it feels, oh, it feels so gross and real. That's really awesome. Ooh, ooh, whoo, you could get high on that, good lord. Um, <laughs> I went back for seconds. That's really cool. I can't describe the feel of it, but let me just show you, like, hold it here for a minute. The lighting's kind of harsh. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. So, um, that is a really cool reproduction of a Freddy hand. 
And so that's, I dig on that. Oh man, that feels so good. Now I'm excited to see this. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh my God. This is incredible. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Heavy duty, man. Oh my God, look how good that looks. Look how good that looks, man. Holy Christmas. That is incredible. Wow. He feels so good. He looks so real. He looks so perfect. Oh. I've got I've got a special display coming for him, so I don't uh I can't do it just yet, but I'll, I'll take a shot and insert it later for that as well. But this looks so good. Feels weird in here. Someone put some powder in here. Dude, that looks so awesome. That looks so, so awesome. All right. So uh, that is the Nightmare Unboxing. Now, let me, let me check and see the details. Holy crap, that is so heavy duty and awesome. Okay, so to give proper credit where credit is due, the mask and the hand were made by the Mask Man Co. on Etsy. So this is a Inferno Freddy Krueger versus Silicone Mask and Hand by WFX. So this is a WFX mask. It's just the Mask Man Co. that put it up. So um, that is really incredible. It is so good. And I'm very glad to have invested in this after all this time. Man, a reason to lose weight, I'll tell you what. Although it's huge, I feel like I could even get in this. But I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try. So, all right. That's going to do it for this unboxing. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use that audio for a minute there. <laughs> That's going to do it for the nightmarish unboxing. Let me know in the comments down below what did you think of everything. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing stuff. Oh no, this isn't part of it, but I was going to put it back on. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of everything, but until next time I've been Cecil Laird. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe to make sure you stay tuned to the channel for the future, because there are some big announcements coming and you do not want to miss them, especially if you enjoyed this. So thank you very much for watching and remember, Stay scared.